Today I'm going to show you five different common hitch knots that you can tie on a bike so that you can tie them before you would set them around an object uh, such as this clevis. So the five that we're going to be looking at are the cow hitch, the bull hitch, the clove hitch, the constrictor hitch, and the spar hitch. Let me show you how to do it. So the first one that we're going to be doing is the easiest of the group. This is the cow hitch. So to form the cow hitch, you'll start off with a bite. You'll take that bite and you just roll it over. Then that's going to form these two opposing loops. And then you just rotate those loops down and that forms the cow hitch. This is also known as the lark's head. And if you're pulling off of two ends instead of one end, say if this were in a continuous loop, then this would also be known as the girth hitch. The next one is also a pretty easy one to do. This one is the clove hitch. So with the clove hitch, we're going to turn an overhand loop in our bite here. Uh, just think of that like you turn the ignition on your car. And then we're going to come down the working end a little bit. We're going to turn another one. Now we're going to take the second loop and we're going to slip it behind the first loop. And then we put our clevis on there. We can tighten the two ends up. And that is the clove hitch. The next one is going to be the bull hitch. This one is very similar to cow hitch. So to start with, we'll start with a bite in our line, but we're gonna start by twisting a loop in it first, an overhand loop. Then we'll take that loop, and we're gonna fold it down onto the two parts of the rope here, like so. That's gonna form uh, the second loop. Now we'll take this loop, and we'll fold it over, pull the two lines through, and then this one takes a little bit more to dress up, but once we get it all seated and set correctly, this is the bull hitch. So let me get that set and get the crossing line correct on it. And there is the bull hitch. The next one is the constrictor hitch. Let me get my lines situated here. So to start with the constrictor hitch, what we want to do is you want to form like a little Z pattern. Now we're going to take the, the peaks of the two bites and we're going to take this one and we're going to roll it up onto the standing end and we're going to take this one and we're going to roll it over onto the working end and we're going to push the working end up a little bit. That forms that figure eight. From here all we have to do is just bend the two uh, loops back on one another. We'll set our clevis through there. We'll tighten it up and that is the constrictor hitch. Now the last one is the spar hitch. So we'll take this one off. To do the spar hitch, what we want to do is we want to turn a loop first. And then we're going to take this loop and we're going to rotate it back onto the standing in. And then we're going to take our working in and kind of push it forward. That gets that working in towards the inside of that figure eight. And then from there, we can fold these back on one another. Put our clevis in there, tighten it up. There we go. And that is the spar hitch. And it's also known as the Miller knot uh, that you can use to tie up bags. So if you have uh, like a little rice bag or something that you've opened up, uh, you just twist the bag together. You can form this knot with some string, tie it on there, and this will hold it closed until the next time you need it. So these are five different hitch knots, common hitch knots that you can tie on a bike before you set them on an object that you're working with. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crew. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.